I want to talk to you about the design basics of a print on demand t-shirt. What do I mean by that? So I'm sure if you want to start a print on demand business, you might be thinking you have to be really good at designing. You have to be some sort of graphic designer, but you really don't. And I'm going to show you, like I said in this video, the basics. And as well as that, I'm going to show you on my computer, pretty much how to actually design a t-shirt either using Photoshop or using a website like Canva. Canva is free. Okay, but before we get started, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I think 60 or 70% of my viewers aren't subscribed and I just, I'm so close to 7,000. I'm so, so close. And when I get 7,000, my next goal is just gonna be to hit the 10,000. So please, if you haven't already subscribed, click that subscribe button and let's just, let's just dive right into the video. So I've got my trusty pen here. I'm gonna draw out what the, the core concepts are of a t-shirt. And what I mean is the, the design that usually is at the front of a t-shirt. And then we're gonna go into Photoshop and actually design a t-shirt. So you can see here on my screen. So let's draw. Let's draw a square, or I should say a rectangle. Okay. And this is the t-shirt, okay? So this would be the t-shirt, all right? Now, there's specific places that you wanna put text. There's specific places that you wanna put some sort of design, some picture or something. You can have text only t-shirts, which does work, but it's not always the best. So I'm gonna show you maybe three to four different ideas of how you can place your text and objects. So the most basic is to have text over here. Okay, that's right, text. An image over here, like a small image. This is just black and white as well. And then a bit more text over here. And the reason why I've done the, I've done them overlapping on purpose because they would be overlapping. Okay, so this is idea one. Okay, now let's move down and let's do an idea two. Okay, so, and then we'll have a look at all the different ideas together afterwards. Now I know this might seem a bit basic and you probably know a lot of this stuff. And if you do know this stuff, then by all means click off the video but I'm sure there are some people out there who will find it useful to just get some different template, basically. This is, this is, this, that's what it is. This is templates, right? So let's write idea two. Now, what could you for idea two? So idea two, we're going to do image, image, image. So let me just write over here, image, right? And then text, okay, that's another one. And let's go to idea three. We're gonna look at all the ideas in more detail afterwards, but just to draw out the template so we've got something to work with here and so that you can actually see. And the third one, let's have a look what the third one's gonna be. The third one is going to be something a bit different, okay? The third one's not gonna have any images on it at all. The third one's gonna have writing this, and it's on a slant for a reason, okay? This is all text, okay? And this is idea three. Now I'm not going to do a fourth idea because I'm realizing that this is enough ideas to get yourself started, okay? Because this is literally just to be able to give you an upper hand when it comes to designing t-shirts. And I have tested these three templates with a lot of money and I'm, I'm talking tens of thousands of dollars. So I know which ones work the best. So let's zoom out and have a look at all three of them together. Let's have a look at all three of them. Okay, so here's all three of them. Now. For me, the most popular one was something like this. Let me, let me, let me circle it. The most popular one for me was something like this one, right? And surprisingly, it had no uh, pictures or anything like that, and that for me was the most popular. The next most popular for me was this one, and this came in as a close third. Now, if you have a look at this design, you might notice something. This is very similar to the Eat, Sleep, Repeat T-shirts. Okay, so you would have eat, sleep, repeat as a text, and let's say it's not eat, let's say it's work out, sleep, repeat, or something like that, right? There are so many different iterations of that kind of design that you could potentially be doing, right? So that is, that is a pretty popular design, but it's not as popular as this one. So this is the one that we're going to focus on now. So let's move over, let's get rid of the pen, don't need the pen anymore. Let's move over into Photoshop, okay? Now, when you're on Photoshop, you need a document size of a width of 11 inches and height of 18 inches. That is generally the typical size for uploading your image as a t-shirt on any of the websites. 
Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to find a pretty cool font. You can use websites like DaFont, which is D-A font. Um, and there are plenty of other ones to be honest, but for some reason DaFont is the only one that I can think of at the top of my head. So the next thing you've got to do is actually come up with the idea. So that's not what this video is. This video is more about how to design an idea that you've come up with. In order to come up with an idea, that could be a separate video. If you want, if you want me to make something like that, a place where you can, a video where I just show you how to come up with tons of different ideas, then let me know in the comments down below. But again, this video is more just to use pretty much an idea that you've already got and turn it into a design. So let's start with we're gonna do, let's, let me think of something. I need a light bulb to go on in my head because I'm making this up, this design. Let's think of something. Okay. Okay, I'm going to think, I've got a cool one. It's going to be based off of this design. Uh, let me circle it for you so you can see. It's going to be based off this one. I know I, know I said this is the, the least popular, but I'm gonna base it off this one anyway. All right, and it's gonna be like this. Very, very simple. For some reason my text is white, which means you can't see it. So let's change the color of this to something that we can see. This is not gonna be the color of it, but just so we can see. Now again, this is something I have literally just thought of on the top of my head and you can probably tell from the break in this video, right? Pug life, okay. Now remember the design doesn't have to be the entire, the entire thing. It can be just a part of it, which is absolutely fine as well. I wonder. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to add some sort of image. Okay, so let's add a, let's go and find an image. Okay, let's do a pug face PNG. That's cute, I like that a lot. Now, you might have to design these yourself because not all of these are free. That's also very, very cute. So let's just say we're going to go with, it's a bit, I don't like that one so much to be honest. I like this one, this is my favorite one, but this looks like it's gonna be someone's actual design. So I don't really wanna take someone's actual design. So let's find one that isn't someone's design. Maybe it's just a photo. Now this might be too many colors for something like Teespring or print on demand, like websites like Printful or anything like that. But there's always something like this. Now I know this isn't mine and obviously I can't steal this. However, this is something that's very easy to design. Anyone could design something like that. And if you are the creator watching this, I apologize for saying that your design was easy, but it pretty much is quite easy. So what we would do is we drag it on. Right now this one I'd have to cut away from the background, which is slightly annoying, but not the end of the world. So with Photoshop, I'll zoom in and I can either do it like this, where I select, and I'll do similar and I'll select all the black, right? And then I can just expand on that by clicking this one, quick select tool, and then just adding. So you can see I'm just going over and adding everything inside. Now the other way to do it, which I would usually do is the pen tool, but that takes just too much time and I don't want to do that at the moment. So now you can see I've selected the whole thing. Now I want to go to select, modify, and contract by one. And that way it's nice and smooth. And then I also want to go in and smooth it out just a bit. So let's smooth it by a simple radius of five, nice and easy. And now let's command J, which makes it a new layer and get rid of that. And now we've got ourselves a solid picture. Right. Now what we could do is we could have three next to each other. design looks like. Uh, one more. Right now I know you're probably thinking, wow, this is the most basic design ever, but let me tell you something. Basic designs sell like crazy. Absolutely crazy. So let's change the color to the same as the actual thing. We can change the font because this is a horrible font for this kind of thing. I'm thinking something thicker. Yeah, there we go, something a bit thicker. Right, you now have got yourself a very simple design. Now you can make it slightly more complicated. So let's make it slightly more complicated by doing something like this. Make it a tiny bit smaller. And let me put a nice little border around it. This is how I'm making it a bit more complicated. 
let's add a so there I just went here used the rectangular marquee tool drew around it created a new layer down here I'm gonna right click and click stroke I'm gonna add a 25 pixel stroke I'm gonna have it the same color as the writing I'm gonna click OK let's have a look at how thick that is I could probably go thicker so let me command Z and make it 60 pixels there we go that's how thick I want it to be right now now I've got this let me stretch this out just a tiny bit so you hold down on shift and stretch up and now you can see it's, it's covering the actual thing so let's go into the middle of the E so it's nicely centered and now let's select just a width away from the thing and now let's delete that and now you can see we've got ourselves a pretty cool design there now that's pretty easy isn't it so what I would do is now I would go and minimize the background so the background now goes to nothing there is some writing up there for some weird reason let's get rid of that so now the background is nothing I will crop this okay and you can see how this is pretty much based off of our template right so our templates over here and it's very similar to this. you've got three pictures and the writing three pictures and the writing very popular template okay now I would click save as PNG you have to save it as a PNG because that keeps the background completely transparent so we'll do pug life PNG let's go over here and now let me quickly upload it onto something like Teespring so you can get an idea of what it looks like and we can move on but let's go to Teespring and basically this video again wasn't really me showing you how to go in and design it. It was just me giving you templates. This was all a bit extra that I wasn't actually planning on doing, but you could see how we've gone from th these three amazing templates using this template to create this pretty basic design. Anyone can do this. You don't have to have any particular skills. You might need a few skills if you want to draw this out, but I'm sure you can go to a website and find free vectors like this, like a pug vector and pay for it. Maybe it's a couple of pounds. If you have to pay for a license right, if you're selling it, then it'll be a couple more pounds or dollars. And then you just put it onto a t-shirt. It's this simple, right? So let's go Teespring launcher. Let's click unisex t-shirt. Start designing. Uh, let's go to sell and add an image. Let's add our new pug life image. And it's that simple. All right, it's really, really, really that simple. Okay, we can change the color of the t-shirt. So we can make the t-shirt like that color. I actually kind of like a light pink. That did really well for me. When I did a pug t-shirt with a light pink base, it did so, so well. I sold a, an absolute ton of them. And then we can just continue on, right? $11.42 profit on that. You can have it, this, I, I would sell this primarily to females. I think females will do a lot better. But the jumper, this is what I sold mostly the jumper of, uh, or the hoodie, whatever you want to call it. Look at that. Sell it for $38.99. You've got $18.78 profit. We can edit this to add some colors to it as well. So let's add that light pink that we really liked. That's a bit more of a darker pink. How dark is this one? That's too dark. So let's go to that one. And to be honest, that is a solid t-shirt. I know at least 10 people off the top of my head that would wear this t-shirt. If you want to go and steal this design, by all means, be my guest. Um, I do not mind, but you can see how simple that was to create and literally you would just go through now and save changes and go and do your design, right? It's really simple. Done, continue, you'll write a little description, your title, YouTube, that's right, Pug Life, do you own a pug? If so, you need this, right? Easy, publish listing, your listing is now published pretty much, okay? Preparing your listing. This is taking, oh, it's taking too long. It's taking too long, it's taking too long. And there we go, right, done. Literally that simple. You've got your t-shirt there. You can go for your hoodie over here. And it's really that easy. You can pick between these two colors. Come on, do you see how easy it is? Now, when going to design, try and base it off one of these three. Here's your design. Like I told you again, I was just gonna show you how to do it on Canva. Canva is also very, very simple. You've got the website here. You, let me just log in. All right, let's create a design. Custom dimensions, pixels, width 11 by 18. Sorry, inches, it needs to be inches. 
11 by 18, create design. You can easily add the pug life text, add heading. You see how quickly I'm gonna be doing this, pug life. Right, that's done. Let's make this a bit bigger. Let me make it 96, let's make it even bigger. Right, do there. Let's go to elements, photos, pug. Let's do pug face. Or let's try pug cartoon. Okay, there are lots here, right? You've got this one over here, that's really cute. You've got, you've got this one over here. You might have to cut them out a bit, but it's not that difficult. But, and you can see these are, are paid. This is for the pro. So you could do this, this is, this, this is just paid, um, right? Now you could buy them directly in Canva if you really want, you can sign up for the pro if you want. I'm not gonna click this because then I get a whole horde of emails which I don't want. But you can see the simplicity of actually designing a t-shirt, right? All the way from the templates to the design or the templates to the design within Canva, which is free, okay? Super easy, barely an inconvenience. I know you're gonna be able to do it. So let me know in the comments down below if you like these kind of videos. If you wanna see more print on demand videos, if you want me to show you how to actually come up with different designs, like find ideas, like this pug one that I just came up with. I mean, that was off the top of my head, but there are actual websites where you can come up with really, really cool ideas. So let me know in the comments down below if you like these kind of videos. And hopefully I will see you in tomorrow's video. So thank you so much for watching.